everyone. Welcome to another episode of Insects in the City. I'm Sarah Layton, and today we're wondering how to install and inspect Sensei Active Volcano Bed Bug Monitor. This is a two-part system. This is our Sensei Volcano Monitor. As you can see, the bottom is re removable, and these guys are reusable. This is our Sensei Active Bed Bug Lure. Both of these I've talked about in another video, so for more information, go ahead and go to our monitoring video for more information about them. Um, just a reminder, this is a freestanding device. You're not putting a bed leg or a couch leg inside of this. It'll blow the bottom right out. This is meant to actually be easier and more versatile to monitor, especially proactively um, when it comes to bed bugs. So first things first, we recommend using a Sensei Active Bed Bug Lure in each one of these volcanoes. It will really help to just increase the catch rate of the volcano. It's meant to mimic the scent of our skin and really just entices those bugs to come in a little bit more than without it. As you just saw, I just ripped the corner off of it and placed it right back in the volcano. That's all you do. You don't take that towelette out. And now we can go ahead and place it right next to this bed leg. Like I said, it's freestanding. We're not putting the bed leg inside of it. We're just placing it right next to the bed leg. We could also place it here um, in that nice little corner between the headboard and the wall. And if I had room behind this headboard, I could place it directly between the headboard and the wall. But this is how this works best for this room. Um, and I would go ahead and leave that one right next to the bed leg. This leg gives a vertical attraction for those beds to those bugs to crawl towards. And you'll notice I have one down right next to the other bed leg. We recommend two active volcanoes per piece of furniture. That will give you the best results. Active volcanoes are about 80% effective after or within four weeks. So we're going to wait four weeks to come back and check our active volcano. And just another note, for video purposes, we've taken the bed apart so that you can see how to place these guys. They are meant to be easier and more versatile, so you could just put them right underneath of the bed without moving any furniture at all. All right, so I'll see you again in four weeks. We're back four weeks later now to check out our active volcanoes and see if we've caught any bed bugs. So it's exactly where I left it, right next to the bed leg. I'm just going to pick it up and you'll notice the bottom is clear and that was intended for easy inspection purposes. You know, if this didn't have a clear bottom and I needed to check this hole for any bed bugs, I'd kind of be dumping it on myself and we don't want to do that. So clear bottom and there's this nice little window in the corner that is caused by tearing off the corner of the packet. Really easy way to inspect is to kind of give the side a tap while that corner's down. Anything that is on top of the packet or kind of caught in the sides will end up falling down to this bottom corner and we'll see what we have there. Now it's only been four weeks, so I'm not changing out this active lure packet. We recommend changing it every two to three months. There is no maintenance required with this active volcano device. It doesn't collect dust. So you could leave this down for potentially six months or so, come back and there would be no dust in there that would cause the bugs to be able to crawl out. Um, we're really just maintaining it to change that lure out and see if there are any bugs in there that we want to get rid of. Now, since we're not changing the lure out um, and we haven't found anything, if we're on a quarterly inspection plan, I'm just gonna go and put this guy right back down where I found it. And that's it when it comes to Sensei Active Volcano. They're meant to be easy to use and very versatile. Um, not meant to really disturb an environment or disturb any furniture. And that's as easy as it gets. So. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and uh, email me at sarah.layton at bedbugcentral.com. Leave some comments on this video. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you want to get more of an idea of what it's like working for Bedbug Central. And I'll see you next time for the next video.